Hi guys, welcome to a hate math group. So let's say that you have the following problem. Peter invests $6,000 into a retirement account. He expects, he expects to earn 8% compounded quarterly on his money for the next 30 years. After that, for the next 15 years, he only expects to earn 6% compound semi-annually. How much money will Peter have in his account when he retires? 45 years from now. Basically, you need to understand that he's only going to be making one deposit. So let's break down this problem. Look what's happening. He's going to be putting this money for 45 years. Now, for the first 30 years, he's going to be doing compound quarterly. That tells me that instead of doing 30 years, he's going to be compounding his money on 120 period because I do 30 times 4. Also, remember, the interest is not 8%. He's going to be doing this by 8 divided by 4, which is 2%. He puts the money, which is $6,000, and waits all the way to 30 years. After that, his future value is actually going to become his present value because look what's going to happen. Now that we are on 30 years, actually right here, there's only 15 years left, but they tell me in the problem that now he's going to be doing a semi-annually compound and I need to do the following. Well, look, from 45 to 30, I only have 15 years, but remember, I, I will have 30 periods because 15 times 2 is 30. So from here to here, we need to figure it out the future value of this guy, which I'm going to teach you how to do it step by step. So let's do it. Now remember, the first step is to figure it out what is the future value. So I put in my calculator N, which is 120 periods, the I, which is the interest, the 2%, PV, which is negative 6,000, payment equals to zero, and then you should get your future value. I will do the same problem in another video, video by hand. I get that my future value is actually $64,590.98. That tells me, guys, that from here to here, this is going to be how much money I have in my account. So... Now, since I have a different compound, I need to make my present value as $64,590.98. Well, remember, we're going from here to here now, so I need to put it into my calculator. Look how easy. Remember, I'm going from here to here. I only have 15 years left, but I need to do it semi-annually. So this is going to be 30 periods. My rate is not 6%. It's actually 6 divided by 2, which is 3. My present value, remember, any time you put in the calculator, you need to put it as a negative. If not, you're going to get a, uh, an error. It's actually the future value from the last 30 years, which is right here. Payment zero, because remember, there is no payment done. And finally, I get my future value. And this is how much money Peter will have in 45 years from now. Mm, pretty good money. And that's it. This is how easy this question is. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Please don't forget, we have way more examples for you. Don't forget, we can also Skype. And also, thanks so much for learning.